Man finds abandoned dog and a note. What happens next is incredible. There is no excuse for people that abandon their pets, and unfortunately, there are many similar cases. However, this owner seems to have loved his dog, as they left her in the middle of a circulated park with a note that has a heartbreaking message. Nobody knew why this pit bull was abandoned and left tied to a tree in a New York park, but at least the person gave his pooch a slight chance of being rescued. But would someone stop and help? Fortunately, this pooch got lucky. Here is her entire story which comes with a happy end and a lot of tail wagging. Eric Manis was going back home when he discovered the dog. He's a full-time screenwriter from Brooklyn and has a part-time job as a dog walker. On that day, he had decided to take a long walk with two of the clients when he stumbled upon the abandoned dog. The pooch appeared to be abandoned and had no food or water. Guess what he did? It was a Monday morning when Mouse took Gouda and Lily on a very long hike through Prospect Park. He didn't expect to come across a dog, he said in an interview. When I was walking up to the waterfall across the bridge, I saw this really big chubby pit bull tied to the tree. Was the dog all by herself? Mouse didn't know what to expect. He wondered if there was an owner around, so he said, I looked around and I called out to her. Hey, where's your owner? He knew that he couldn't leave the pooch all alone in the park. Mouse had no idea what to do, but he wanted to help her, so he got closer to the pooch. Prospect Park isn't a good spot for a dog to be alone, explained Mouse in the interview. He looked around again, but nobody appeared. He felt like something was wrong. He slowly approached the pit bull as he had the other dogs with him. However, the chubby pooch didn't move an inch. Then Mouse looked at the tree where the leash was tied and noticed something. There was a piece of paper hanging from that tree. It had a few sentences written in Sharpie. The note talked about the pooch, who was called Mama's and explained that she was very friendly. Whoever left her out there probably had no other option and thought they'd give her a chance at being helped. Here's what the note said. The note wrote, Take me home. I'm a great dog. I'm seven years old. Don't let my size scare you. I'm sweet. At the top of the note, the word mamas probably stood for the dog's name. And looking at her, Mouse could tell she was indeed sweet. He could see that the owner cared about the pooch. Anyone could have picked her up but what could he do? The pit bull was being so sweet and so gentle, said Mouse in an interview. She was just laying there, tongue out, so cute. His thought that the pooch was indeed abandoned in the middle of the park were confirmed. He had to do something, but he was alone, around him to come up with an idea, so he took out his phone. This is where social media is a lifesaver. Mouse snapped a photo of Mama's and of the note and posted the photo on a Facebook page visited by people from the neighborhood. He asked for advice, saying the following, Found this dog tied to the tree near the boathouse in Prospect Park. Then he asked a simple question, and people immediately responded. Mouse also explained on his Facebook post that there's a note on the tree that says, Take him. Who do we call? Only five minutes passed, and Mouse was contacted by people. A person came to meet Mouse and the pooch and called for a car to come outside the park and help with transport. Guess where this lucky lady was taken? A hint, happy tale at number 10. Mamas was going with Mouse and the two clients to Sean Casey Animal Rescue, a shelter that was nearby and could find a spot for Mamas. Mouse had to walk the chubby pit bull through the park. She was a bit slow, probably because of her size and a bladder infection. As soon as she got in the car, she changed into a different dog. Seeing the car, Mama seemed to be less hesitant, but then Mouse couldn't believe his eyes. When we took her out of the car, it seemed like she was ready. Not only was she ready, but she basically jumped out of the car, which was a really good sign. She knew that she was safe. And that was all thanks to the many people who stepped in and helped them. But what next? This dog was incredibly lucky, explained Casey, the founder and owner of the nonprofit organization. He added that this wasn't the only case like that, and that they get several calls a week for dogs that have been tied out here or cats left in boxes. But this dog's luck doesn't end here. Wait until you see the latest update at number one. Eric Mouse thought that Mama's owner couldn't afford taking care of his pet anymore and believed that the right thing was to tie the pooch to a tree and leave a note saying please take her home, just so that she could live a better life. But her situation could have been a lot worse. Here's what the vets said about Mama's. Aside from a bladder infection, the vets said that Mama's was in good health. However, she needed to lose a few pounds. 
She wasn't yet spayed, and that would soon be fixed after her bladder infection was treated. Sean Casey added that she would be up for adoption in a week, and that's not all. Meanwhile, she became quite famous thanks to social media and the local news. Mamas is ready to begin a new chapter in her life, all thanks to Mouse and the people who helped rescue her. Until she finds a new family, she's just happy to be out of the park. A spokesperson of the shelter said that Mamas is settling in well, and she likes everybody and everything. Meanwhile, Eric knows that this pooch would find a family soon enough, and that they will be lucky to have her. Here's what he said. She's a total sweetheart with big brown doughy eyes, Mouse said in an interview, adding that she's just a happy dog. She might be big and chubby, but her heart seems to match the size, and there's a bright future awaiting, all thanks to her rescuers. Sean explained that many owners cannot afford taking care of their dogs, However, he recommends these people to reach out to a local shelter and ask people for help. Mouse had a dog when he was a kid, and he remembers they went to the pound to adopt him. Did he take Mamas home with him after all? Mouse said that he would have loved to adopt Mamas, but unfortunately his living situation cannot allow for it. However, he said in an interview that, It's moments like these where I want to raise awareness about adopting rather than buying your next dog or cat. Adopted pets are the most loving pets there are. After less than a month since Mamas was rescued and got a kennel of her own at the shelter, Sean had some amazing news about their chubby pooch. A week ago, someone adopted Mamas and waited for her to get to her new home as soon as she got spayed first. <laughs>